Hello guys, it's Verzikten here. Today I have very interesting clips. Please enjoy and I'll see you on the next video. You gotta handle this cool, calm, okay. collect. If he if he pulls right. Tony, we kill him. All right. Damn. Go to the left, to the secret place. And if he pulls, we kill him. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Okay. It's cool. We talk right here. There's a secret wall behind it where Harry and Leslie will be behind the whole time. Okay, we need Harry or Leslie to be ready on a gun on the other Damn, side. We're ready. Now yeah, listen, right. listen. I need one of you to have a gun ready, okay? Okay, yeah, we're Leslie, ready. lock the door. Of course. No, I can't. Right in... I can't lock. Alright. Get back there, Harry. Get back there, Harry. The fuck back there, Harry. <gasps> you got body armor? Okay, just make sure yeah, I'm scrolling through the wall. And mute your phone. Mute your phone. I need body armor. Here's the job. I got right there. Good job. Thanks. <sighs> Honey, this conversation we need to take very seriously. I'm not even joking. I'm right here with you. I'm stressed. One thing, you guys, you guys like, and like this, so that he naturally stands in front of you over there instead, so we get better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make him stand like this. So you guys are yelling. Yeah, let's hope he's yelling, because if he's whispering, we're fucked. <laughs> Scared. Be scared, Tony. We got this. Okay. You hold your hand? Yes. Tell, tell him, We've been through him, so much together. Right. Tell, tell him that the office is a bit fucked and he has to yell. I don't know can't hear bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, blame it on the scuff. I'm gonna call him. Where are you, Raymond? Uh, it's not the arena. It's the tower. It's the tower near the rich apartments. Leslie's Tower. Bye bye. Oh, make sure your phones are muted, guys. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm muted. Mute, mute, mute. Make sure you guys are yelling as well. Yeah, Leslie, I fucking heard you the first time. No, I said I didn't say that the first time. So you obviously didn't hear me. I said make sure he's yelling. Now I'm saying make sure you yelling. Okay, okay. Ooh, take it easy. 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 All right. Then take it easy. Okay. Serious. Right, serious vibes now. Serious time. vibes now, guys. Serious. Very serious. Come on. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Lang, my baby, my baby. What the fuck up, Harry? Can't believe what's going on right now. Huh, you know what's the worst part about all this? Why? The Lakers play the Jazz tonight. <laughs> That's fucking it's terrible. It's not gonna be good. <clears throat> Raymond, please stand over there. Hello, I'm, gonna pat, I'm gonna have to pat you down. Please put your hands up. 
Where does it go? Funny, why do you have a gun out? Don't want you to try anything, right? You don't want me to try anything. Just making sure. All right. I don't really have a reason to try anything with you guys. I don't have... I don't have any weapons, but it stop petting me down so aggressively. I know I carry weapons everywhere. I don't have weapons this time. Pat him down. Just gotta, just gotta make sure, you know. I, I gotta make sure. I, I, I don't have everything. weapons. You have a knife? No. There's no wife. There's no knife in the shoe. Don't wife. Raymond, we're gonna give you one opportunity to explain what the fuck happened. Of course. There's a lot to talk about. Well, let's start. What do you guys know so far? It's we're not, not gonna tell you anything asking. we know. We're asking you what the fuck happened. What's really going on here? Okay. Well, obviously, you gentlemen know. Well, glad that you guys know. But there's a lot of tension between me and Mickey. It's been tension that's building up for not only a few weeks, a few days, but months now. You guys knew from the very start I was distrustful of Mickey. While he uh, seemed like a good lad, him transferring directly from another family directly into ours just felt weird for me. Uh, we had that meeting about Mickey joining in the family, and even then, I was always cautious. Well, you know, I thought that things would go well after he joined the family. And I thought that things maybe might get better between me and him. There was always this lingering issue between me and Mickey. A tension that continued to build. Unfortunately, last night was the straw that essentially broke the camel's back. A few weeks ago, me and Mickey had a meeting. Things were getting bad. Every time I hung out with Mickey, I wanted to kill him. And I said this to him, Mickey, you need to stop. You need to stop messing with me, putting my life at risk, exposing my name, my identity to police officers, and pulling ridiculous pranks that were shaming me in front of friends and people I really cared about. And unfortunately, or fortunately, at the meeting, he agreed. He said, Ray, I'll stop as long as you stop turning to kill me. And that was that. We moved on. For a few weeks, things were actually going pretty well. Well, last night, we were planning a job for Egg. Things were going well, you know, we were doing things, and uh, I was in the car with Mickey. I had the meeting with uh, a few people trying to give away something that I wanted to help people with. It was, a, it was a contract for something. So I had the call with Kitty in the car. It was a one-minute call. I was just offering something. And Mickey was frustrated with the fact that he couldn't speak for one minute, like he always speaks, on and on. So what he decided to do was drive straight into a fire hydrant at 50 miles per hour, send me flying out of the car, and then drive straight off. With me and, me and uh, I think, Harry. Sir, uh, no, no, it was me and Lando, sitting on the side of the road. Just drove off. Immediately, I pulled my weapon off as he continued to drive off from me. Because I was yelling at them, Hey, what the fuck are you doing, Mickey? He just kept driving. He started shooting at the vehicle's wheels. He just kept driving. So I called him immediately. I said, Mickey, I swear to God, I see you next. Anytime I see you next, I'm going to put a bullet in your brain. And he laughed and he said, sure, Ray, whatever. And he hung up the phone. So here we stand. I was, I was on, on a hunt at this point. I was angered. I was already at the point where so much tension had built up. So many issues have built up in the past. And I could not deal with it anymore, gentlemen. I'm sorry. I apologize to both of you. I know how much he means to you as a friend. But he... Friend, he's family, right? He is family. But family. family does not continue to fuck with each other when they've been asked to stop, my friend. You treat other family with respect. You know how yeah, serious so what, I am you, as a man. You, you put three in his chest, one in his head, put him in the fucking ocean? No, he's missing no. an eye now. No, he's I missing a put, fucking eye, right? He's got a, he's got a gunshot to the cheek. He's got three bullets in the chest. Okay, he's missing an eye. That's weird. I put a bullet in his leg, a bullet in his shoulder, and multiple bullets into his head. Mo Wait, mo mo multiple into his head? Yes, I tried to kill Mickey. Why, right? Why do you think I what tried to kill Mickey? What the fuck is the matter with you? I was tired of Mickey. I couldn't continue to do it. So what, are you going to fucking shoot me next? 
No, Tony. Because you almost I did it back at the pizza place. Remember that? Tony, you know the reason I did that. You know the reason. You know so the you, tension. So you would have me? I was going through. No, I wasn't going to shoot you. What did we conclude at that meeting? I, I would have never you thought you shot Mickey. That. Tony, at the end of that meeting, I told you I would never be able to shoot you. You almost wanted to kill Mickey about three weeks ago when he told the lady you had, uh, had to go pick up your herpes medication. Yes. Multiple times I've tried to kill Mickey. In front of you, I've put bullets into him. There's nothing new. This when is when the fourth this? time. This was three weeks ago, but oh, Why did you put multiple bullets in front of Mickey? Or uh, Mickey in front of us? Link, we were in front of the casino once. Remember, he pulled an AK-47 <sighs> tried to shoot me, and I shot him down. I almost dumped him that day. I, I've, there's so many times I've okay. had issues with him, where I've Look, shot him I, in front I, of you guys, I or don't... shot him in general. All right. So you're saying... How did, how did you acquire Mickey? How did I acquire Mickey? Yeah. Well, I knew the job that we were going on was a Polito heist. We were planning for it together. So I knew at a certain point that Mickey, you know, the smart person that would uh, do heist would usually get the laptop last. So I waited the spot that you'd usually, you know, grab the laptop from. And I grabbed him. I, my intention was to shoot him right off the bat, but I gave him the respect to talk to him. You know what I did? I tried to talk to him. I brought him to an isolated location near the ocean. And I said, Mickey, apologize. And you know what he said to me? You know what he said to me? Ray, I will not apologize to you. Ray, why would he apologize to you when you fucking kidnap him? Okay? And you tell him you're going to kill him. Because... Tony, why would he apologize? There are reasons Ray, that people we're can family, actions. Okay? We're brothers. Okay? Brothers. Okay? You know what shit me and Buddha have been through? Okay? I shit on Tony all the time. Tony I shit all the time. You know, this motherfucker, we have been through the pennies, pennies, pennies days, okay? We've been through the most close days, okay? Even when we've had the times where if I fuck something that he dies up or he fucks something that I did and I'm really fucking upset, you know, sure, yeah, we'll, you know, fuck around with each other, you know, pop a shot here and there, you know what I mean? But we would That's never, me. hold on, I'm not dying. We would never. Never do what the fuck you did. I understand. That. Why the fuck would you think that's okay? Because I deal with things differently than you do. Okay, than does. but we, we have different we, reactions to things. We you are have a more family, tolerance. right? Family, okay? A team, a group, a family, a unit, okay? You cannot make the decision to execute. Another family member without speaking to the rest of the family. Okay? Even if you are different, you need to respect the fact that that person you do not like is liked by other people in the family. Okay? So, I know how much in your you mind, like him, how do you not understand that? Well, in my mind, there are respect. There's a boundary of respect that you need to uphold. You guys know who I am as a okay, person. But you did not respect killer. us. I do respect you. That's why I'm talking to you, and that's why I told everyone that I discussed with you last night. If you respect night, us, you wouldn't have done what you do done. Talk to you guys. You, didn't, you, no. you wouldn't have done what you, with what you. This I I just can't even believe this. You 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 wouldn't. I, I don't know. How do you I think? Don't understand how, how do you, you think you can come out of the situation? Because you might understand that there needs to be respect that needs to be upheld in this family, because we are family. You don't treat family members like shit. Even there is a line that you do not cross. And Mickey continued to cross it. I'm not talking about this one incident. I am talking about multiple, multiple incidents that he continued to fuck with me. And I warned him in front of you, gentlemen, that I would kill him. And even you guys warned him. Stop poking Ray. And he continued to do it, gentlemen, even after you guys did that. Bang. I need a sidebar. Come over here, Tony. Just Booting. This isn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so here, here, here are my notes. 
First things first, you never shoot anybody in the family. I don't give a fuck what they did. I don't give a fuck who you are. And what the fuck you decision. saying? Think I give a oh. shit? Listen, unless it is a group decision, unless it is brought to the table. That's how it is. Council. Exactly. We agree or disagree. Now, with that being said, I did warn Mickey multiple times to stop fucking going that rank. I mean, 100%, but do you actually think he would have done it? I mean, let's be fucking realistic here. Okay? No, I didn't think, I didn't think he'd actually fucking ocean double, but I did. Why the fuck I, I, would I he do very, that? I had a very heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Mickey at Uwu. Stop going after Ray like this. It's not going to be good. Here's the thing, right? When you grow up, and you have brothers, what do you do? Fuck, I remember back in the day, me and my brother, he would fucking get up on top of me and fucking rock me in the face. He would, you know, fucking, I would get upset. You know what I mean? Rock me in the face. You know what I mean? Tell mom and dad I was staying up late night. You know, now it's a little different because we're grown-ups now. You know what I mean? And now, you know, left the family behind, but we got a new family, new brothers. You know what I mean? Me and you have done some pretty, some pretty crazy shit. I mean, we so, so, done so a fan shame. Fucking, what, what do we do here, Tony? I think he's fucking mentally insane. He ain't been no, right. Parsons? He ain't, he ain't been right since, since Kitty. Yeah, I know. But he, he ain't been some, right. He is wrong in what he did. Very wrong. Hey, yeah. I want to emphasize that he is completely wrong and nothing that Mickey did will change the fact what he did was wrong. But there is a bit of validation there. And let's be honest. Ray can't take shit at all. Like, no, he shit. can't. He can't take shit for Jack. Listen, Tony, we shit on each other all day. But you know why nobody thinks that we get shattered all day? Because we don't complain about it. We just take it. That's right. Listen, but it's very clear that Ray couldn't handle it at all. I even told Mickey this. Listen, look, I'm I'm worried that I'm next. Listen, we need to just relax here and really think this through. Did you hear? Did you hear? What? What he said? Yeah, I heard everything he fucking said. This motherfucker doesn't even seem remorseful. I think he's fucking mentally insane. I'm fucking scared. Look at him. He's on the phone. You know who he's probably on the phone with? Probably with I mean, his, his squad outside. Up. Get off the phone, Ray. Yeah, I'm off. Don't touch the phone again. I won't. I was explaining to someone something. <sighs> okay. Don't step here, Tony. I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Good then. <sighs> okay. All right. He definitely didn't. He definitely did it. We found our okay. suspect. I mean, we can cross everybody else off the list. There's no denying that Raymond Romanov attempted to kill Mickey in the ocean dump in. Yeah. Okay. And I might be going a little in the deep side here. There's a difference between murdering people. Okay. I've heard it from the cops before. This is premeditated murder. You know what that means? Wow. That means he thought about it, he planned it, and he attempted to murder him. Okay. I think he is mentally unstable. And we need to ask ourselves what we do in this situation. If he's mentally unstable, do we try to help him? And get him into help? Of course we gotta help him. He's family too, Tony. But what if he's so far gone? Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. My heart can't take this, Tony. But I'm, I don't know what else to fucking say, buddy. My heart can't take this, Tony. You're, You're telling me I will, I Mickey will doesn't die. have an eye. Yeah, I know. This is really fucking bad. It's fucking eyeless. Really fucking He's got bad. one eye. What? Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. We an eye for an eye? Leslie. I don't know. Here's what we do. We stick to the plan with what Leslie said. 
we brush it off. We tell him we got to go speak to Mickey. We go back to Mickey and see what he wants to do. I think we have to hear him out. Okay. I what need to say this right now as well. Okay. I don't mean to be that guy. But I'm going to be realistic. Okay? You would have never thought that Ray would kill, attempt to kill Mickey, right? I right? would have thought. I, it, to be I, yeah. I, I would have never thought it. I would have never thought it. Okay, there's there's talking. Okay, and then there's actually doing. I never thought he would actually do it. Okay, I have heard it. Okay, I never would have thought he actually did it. But the thing is, if he's mentally unstable right now, there's no saying what he's gonna do and what he's not gonna do. Okay. Do you think we should? Oh God, I don't even like saying this. Don't say it, Tony. It's gonna be realistic. Don't say it. Okay, I won't say it. I won't say it. Let's just let's just stick to the last this plan. Okay. And let's go talk to Mickey. Okay. But I got a few questions to ask him. But wait. I just, I'm, what do you think about this? I don't know what to think yet. I, I really want to hear what Mickey thinks about this, to be honest. Right? Right. You got a point. So let me ask Ray a couple of questions, then we go speak to Mickey again. Okay. Right. Yes. What did you think was going to happen after you did that? Because the entire family hates you right now, if I'm being honest. And if the entire family hates me, then, I mean, I suppose that's what it is. I can't change the actions I've done in the past, but would I feel like if you were in my position, you would have done the same with what Mickey was saying? No, I wouldn't. I would never shoot one of my brothers ever in my life. No, never. Ever. Me and Budin have been through so much, and we have never went to that length. Like I said, we, I we fucked with each other, popping here and there. Maybe fucking with each other, you know what I mean? But never truly intending to well, fucking let, kill let, each let, other. Let, 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 let me rephrase that, actually. Right. Rephrase. Rephrase. I will never rephrase. shoot one of my brothers without talking to my other brothers. Probably. That's right. I respect that. I would, I would never go out of my way to kill one of my brothers without any of my other brothers or sisters knowing about it. That's right. But do you there understand would be a that conversation first. There would be delegation. There would be a council. Someone. I, I expect him to die. You understand what I mean? Like, when I put the bullet in your brain, I hope you're Okay, dead. but it doesn't matter, right? You did this on your own volition without can, can speaking it, to anybody. Can, can or, stop, or, or I don't can even stop think, fucking rubbing it in? Can you stop saying I that? I don't even think you... You, you stop, stop saying that? Right? You, you know what Mickey honest. said you, to Can you me? stop saying Either. that? You're freaking me out. Tony. It doesn't you, matter. It literally you know does not matter, The last moments of his... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what he said. It does not matter. You know why it doesn't matter? Because you still did this on your own volition, right? I understand. But with plenty of warning. It's not Are you like proud of this? Without... I'm not proud of it. Uh, Tony, do you think I'm happy that I had to kill someone in my Motherfucker, family? you keep gloating about fucking shooting him in the head. No, I'm not gloating. I am saying I did it. Because I did it. What am I supposed to say? Lie to you guys that I didn't shoot him. Of course I shot him. He's dead. Or he's not dead. Apparently he's in the ICU. The motherfucker, when I had the weapon pointed at him, told me... Do you not care what, what the rest of the family thinks? I do care bothering? what you guys think. No, you didn't. Of course it, I no, care. No, no, because if you, cause if you can't, God damn it, you wouldn't have done it. Of course I care, because here you I am. You wouldn't have done it while to speaking with us first, right? I did speak to you on multiple occasions about this, Buddha. About Mickey with the way he treats me. It doesn't matter if we've spoken in the past. You actually wanted to kill him, and none of us knew about this. You did this on your own volition. I mean, you even kidnapped Mickey in the middle of a job when he was with the rest of the crew. Yes, he was with us, doing a job. No, oh, he was with a different crew, right? He removed no. you from the job. You, you were off the time. Yes, he removed me from the initial job that we were going to do together. Because apparently he didn't want me on the job. And I understand that. And One he didn't want you on the I job because you shine at the time. Listen, when I was with Mickey in the car upon leaving the scene, after leaving the blue dongle, wherever the fuck that place is, Mickey said, Ray, 
and fucking shoot me. If you're gonna do it, just shoot me. And that is the entire ride. The fuck, like, what do you expect him to say? Let's, oh, Ray, I'm so sorry. Please put no, the gun I down. Expect, Tony, I expect him to talk to me. Because the issue is I wanted to talk. Not no one's going to want to talk to you. Who the fuck would want to talk to you, right? right? You, if you're going to you, kidnap the guy and put a gun to his head, he's not going to want to talk to you. Especially, He's not some fucking random Joe Blow. He's your brother, goddammit. My brother wouldn't treat me like shit. Every opportunity he can. Listen, there's a line that you don't cross as a brother, and I told you this. Yes. If I have I to warn that. you. Ray, we respect that. But at the end of the day, you need to talk to your other brothers right. before you do something this crazy. If you respect it, then you would understand. Ray. It doesn't matter if we understand or not, Ray, because at the very end of the day, yes, we could understand what you're saying. And yes, you might have some validation into what you're saying, but at the end of the day, you did this on your own volition, right? And you don't ever do this shit. You never go and kill another brother without consulting with the family, ever. What the fuck were you thinking? I was thinking that Mickey crossed the line, and I couldn't deal okay, with it anymore. Okay, let's, let's say alternate reality, right? Let's say Mickey was actually dead, right? Okay. You come to us, and you say, guys, I'm the one who killed Mickey. Here's why. Without talking to us, without saying anything beforehand, before the, act, the, the actual action, okay? I mean, like, prior, that day, okay? What do you think our reaction would be? Honestly, Let's even I go hope. to another alternate universe. Imagine I grabbed fucking you know and ocean dumped his ass without it's speaking to same, any though. of you guys. It is the same. No, it isn't. Because How is it Mickey's not? He's not. Listen, I have a lot of respect for every single person in this family besides Mickey. He's lost my respect at this point. And sure, you might think it's the same. This is ridiculous. What, what do you mean? I Mickey cannot believe this. Has crossed the line. I would Ray, not try to kill Ray, someone if I didn't lose Ray, all my respect. For you him kidnapped him, took him somewhere, shot him, and fucking ocean dumped him. He has multiple gunshots in the head, one fucking eye. How the fuck do you think this is okay? What do you think? Tony, how, how do you, you think, think it's not okay? Me, Buddha, Bjorn, Denzel. Harry, anybody in the family is okay with this. The guild, Dean, Lansley, the list goes on, right? I understand it. Well, I'd hope you guys understand my point of my perspective. Right. I don't Nick understand shit that you're saying right now because I you don't, don't make any sense. I don't understand how you don't get it. We're a family. Families don't fuck with each other. Yes, they do. That's what a fucking family does. No, you don't understand. There's fucking with each other what Buddha does to me, what you do to me. Have I ever pointed a weapon at one of you and actually shot? No, but with Mickey, I've shot him multiple times. I'm going to say you okay, haven't okay. shot, but it has been multiple times where you fucking tell Mickey you're going to kill him or you tell me you're going to kill me and you point a fucking gun at me and then Goofy has to get up and point a fucking gun at you and then I'm pointing a gun at you and you still have the fucking gun up. Tony, that was one time after a break. Okay, and one fucking time and half. One time and half. Tony, you know what you did. I don't know how you're bringing that up right now. Ray. Listen, Ray, Ray. At the end of the day, you do have some validation in what you're saying. And I understand where you're coming from. But there, there's no reason you ever go out of your way to shoot one of our brothers without anybody. How do you think you know going to feel about this? Well, I hope he'd understand. I mean, you know, have been brothers from the very start. You hope he would you understand. You would hope he would understand. You would hope. You know, the you guy know. who literally has Chang Gang that's tried to fuck him over is more, more time than we can count two hands, and he still loves him. That's yes. what we're talking about here. But also, you know, as my brother, we joined the family at the same time. We were always together before we joined the family. I'd hope he'd understand. Ray, you are off the deep end, my friend. You think I'm off the deep end? Why am I rationally talking to you guys right now if I'm off the deep end? Ray, I think we need to put you in Parsons. Yeah, I think you need to go to... Uh, I, 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 we need to get you some therapy. Yeah, I... We got a 51 right? I, I don't think you even know what's going on right now. You don't think I know what's going on? I think no. you're so far off the deep end that we need to get some... We need to get you some help. How do I not? What's I know what's going on. I'm here. Talking I to I you really, I really don't think. What do you think? I don't understand, Tony. Talk to me. What do Almost I not understand? Everything. Everything. 
You're going on about respect, but you don't respect the fact that we would be upset that Mickey died if you fucking killed him. But you knew issues were compiling. Why did we never right, talk about right, this as a family? Right. If, I, if you knew. Okay, here's the thing, right, buddy? You made the, the decision last night to kidnap Mickey, take him somewhere, and shoot him in the head and hope that he would die. And that none of us would yes. be able to say goodbye. Right? Or even know about it, quite frankly. Right? Or even know about it. Okay? Wait, so, how would you not know about it? I was here to tell you immediately. Okay, okay. Let's just say, let's just say this, right? Even if you did tell us, right? Alternate, you know, reality, right? How the fuck do you think we would feel if you did this and we never got to say goodbye? If he actually died, right? If he actually died, I never got to say my last words to him. Buddha never got to say his last words. Any of the family never got to say their last words to him because you stole that from us. So how the fuck do you think we would respect you when you stole us of not only our last opportunity to ever say anything to him ever, whether it was good or bad, but also you went behind the family's back. Like, what do you, like, and on a Sunday, on a Sunday. I didn't go behind the On the day back. of Ma Holy Mary. On the day of, on the day, on the day, on Sunday. I'm drinking beer. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, it was a I'm fucking out, out of the city. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking tequila. Sunday, you're right. It's tequila? Sunday. But listen, let me talk to you. There's a reason. I told you this. Tony, if I did something so grave like this, I had a reason for it. You know me. I don't take action. Unless I okay. truly think about you it. You can keep saying this, and I'm going to keep saying this no, as I'm well, and we can go I'm in circles. Done, Whatever you say, okay, does not defeat the fact that you robbed us of potentially murdering Mickey and that none of us got to say a last word. Thank God. Last thank words. God he is alive. Okay? Thank fucking God. Okay? Because I swear to God, if he was dead right now and you came to me and told me that you killed him, you would be dead in a matter of three seconds. Do you understand? If that's how you feel. If Mickey is that important to you. It's not how I feel. That's literally what I'm telling you. He's that important to him. He's, right. he, you understand he's, he's family. family, right? What are you speaking? What the I'm fuck am I saying here? And here we are talking about you. Okay, so me. please tell me, Ray, how you think, you know, we're not all equal here. How you you're mean? somewhat higher of a rank or higher of a fucking status than Mickey. Because we're all equal here in this family. So why the fuck do you feel like you're at some did higher I, fucking standpoint than Mickey? Tony, did I ever say that at any point? No. Here's but you're making it you're making I it said, seem like that. No. I am saying that there is respect between mutual members of the family. Right, you There's can't talk about respect when you literally no. don't give us the respect to, to even I fucking say what's going on. No, you don't. If Buddha no, you don't. or you Stop. ask me to do anything the in the entire fucking world, I would do it immediately and Buddha knows it. Yes. You know it, Tony. No, you're not wrong with that, but you still went and killed Mickey without thinking of any of the repercussions, right? I did any think of, of the repercussions. He asked me at the moment, what do you think so Buddha you, So what the think? fuck so, so you do you think so we would fucking do? I thought so you didn't you think would about the understand. fact that maybe you get killed, maybe we fucking remove you from the family. You never thought about any of this? Half the family hates you I now, right? I thought you would understand. As someone who's known me for a very long time now, I thought you would understand that I wouldn't do something like this unless I had a good reason for it. Right, right. The reason does not matter when it comes it to... It does matter. Right? It doesn't matter. Let me finish my fucking sentence here. Okay? The reason in itself matters. The reason does not matter that grants you to go and do this on your own volition. The reason could be so grave enough that you come and you speak to the boys and we sit down like a fucking council and we go over everything. Okay? But doing it on your own volition, without any of us, any of us being made aware, in that regard, that reason does not matter. I understand that. I do. I think you're right, Buddha. That's what's next. But I'm going to go to bed tonight. I'm going to wake up and you kill Jaeger. No, you're gonna kill, gonna kill me? You're gonna sleep in my you gonna you gonna you gonna sneak in my room? Like a murder me in my sleep? I sneak in your room. Clearly you're not gonna night, speak to us Tony. about it before don't, you don't, somebody, don't right? even don't even try to play payful here. Alright, don't the playful cat is out the window. This is serious, okay? This is fucking serious, alright? 
Like this series. Sometimes somebody might either get shot, killed, sure. Sometimes that person might be somebody who's part of the family, sure. But at the end of the fucking day, we come together and make that fucking decision. Nobody does that on their own volition. Even with Tony's racers, I was going to go kill those cocksuckers. I was unbelievably pissed. But Tony showed That's me right. okay, That's how right. much he meant to them. That's right. That I had to go, remove myself from the situation. I did say that. Off, and trust me, I was hell bent. I even Poodoo was pissed off. Fucking kill Giffy, he didn't. Goofy. He didn't. I was going to go off the fucking rocker and kill everybody. He said that. And I realized I'm seeing red. I'm going primalistic rage. Gorilla shit here. I need to calm the fuck down and try to understand why Tony doesn't want me to kill these cocksuckers. And these are people that I don't even consider family. I understand that. But I've been seeing red for months. And you too know this. Right. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I know uh, Mickey's been poking at you and all this shit. But, but, but I think, uh, I think you're, uh, you're over-exaggerating it a bit. Yeah. I don't think you guys are truly seeing it then. Can I be honest you don't with you? I understand how much it's beginning to me. What's up, Tony? I don't think you can take a joke. Okay, that might be true. I don't think I can take a joke. I, I mean, we all joke with each other the same fucking way, okay? Like, the the same fucking way, okay? There, there's days where I argue with Mickey, Buddha argues with me, I argue with Buddha. We're yelling in the fucking car back and forth to the point where our fucking voices are so fucking shot. The next day we can't even fucking speak, okay? I agree with you, Tony. I uh, can't take just... a joke. And I warned Mickey about that multiple times. If you know that I can't take a joke, then why do you continue playing? Why do you continue joking? Why do you continue pranking me? Putting my life at risk. Obviously, you know you're doing something wrong because I've warned you. So why do you continue to do it? Okay, right. Even if he did something wrong, it doesn't fucking result in you fucking just straight murking the motherfucker without speaking to the family. That's the point here, right? You, like I said, you could be right. You might even if he is, even if he is wrong, even if he is yeah, wrong, and, and, doesn't he could be wrong? Doesn't it help the fucking right. the, the purpose that that you just fucking shot him. That's exactly. speaking to the family. You don't just murk the guy. The fucking murk him. him is throughout any validation you had out the window. Any validation you had out the fucking window. It's fact. I understand how you two feel. I really do. I'd be disheartened if someone else in the family were to die. But I'm sorry, gentlemen. It's the decision. I don't know that... if I believe you, quite frankly. Yeah. What do you mean? Let me, I care about let me, literally let me every ask, single one of you. Let me ask you a you question. You all know this. What's up, Tony? What do you consider Mickey right now? I honestly don't know what I consider Mickey. He's someone that I don't think is family. Even though you guys consider okay. him family, he's, so he's been how, done so much to Let me ask you something. How do you want us as a family to accept that you're not family with Mickey, but we're family with Mickey? And that you tried to kill him. How do you want us as a family to move on with that? Well, if I had a choice... And you guys truly care about him that much, or you want him to continue being in the family, then I think there's only one way to solve it, and that's by talking. I haven't been able to talk to Mickey because he, every time I tried to talk to him last night, he said, "Shoot me, pussy." I, I, I want. I wonder why. It. I wonder why. Okay, Do no, it, pussy. Listen, 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 listen. What, what, what bothers me here is you keep talking about Mickey like you're shocked that we consider him family. Yeah, like what? What is that? Like, if you still consider him family, like, what, what the fuck is this? Of course he's fucking family. Like, what are you expecting? Okay. Then let's talk to Mickey. I think there's only one way to solve it. No, we're going to go talk Mickey. to Mickey. Yeah. You're going to go cool yeah, out. You're not going to anywhere fucking near him right now. Not right now. We're going to go speak to him. You're going to get out of here. You're going to go cool off. All right, right? Okay. Go fucking hang don't out with one of your anywhere. fucking wives go, or something. And don't, and don't go anywhere near the manor. I understand that I won't go near the matter unless I need to talk to you guys. Listen. Right, thank you for your time. Have a good day. Uh, I'm happy you guys talk. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. And I'm, let me finish because I need to talk about this. It's, it's on my heart. I'm happy you guys talked to me and I'm sorry this happened. Right? I do not give a shit what the fuck you're sorry about. 
You almost killed Mickey. Get the fuck out and go cool down. Okay, Tony. You gentlemen have a good day. Damn, this is really bad, Tony. This is really fucking bad. Dude, this motherfucker's doubling down. Listen, we gotta, we gotta throw his ass in parcel. You're telling me there, bucko. Hey, boys, come out, boys, come out. Go, go. Oh, my God. I told you. I told you, didn't I? I now you see what I had to deal with last night. Holy oh, shit. Crazy shit. Let's, Harry, what the fuck? Anything. Leslie, I need you with the, the best spiritual guidance I've ever heard of in my life. Right Please, now. Leslie. Right, so, so, number one, you guys, you guys just brute forced him for 15 minutes straight because you guys had no idea how to approach this at all. You guys no, tried being it. angry. You tried yelling at him. Guess the yeah. thing. I'm a Romanov. human. I'm human. Yeah, what do you expect? Romanov, no, here's the thing. Romanov is well, but I, I think Romanov is just a sociopath. He's a, he's a sociopath with a, an extremely fragile ego. Yes. Yes. He, he, so what do we do, you, Leslie? You hit the nail on the head. Well, I, I think you're right. I, I think he got, needs to go to process. But the thing is, I think <laughs> you need to approach it from an understanding point of view of being like, yes, we understand this, but you know, we need to help you. Like, okay, if you if you have a problem, so if you're lie a family, to him. Remember. Well, if you have a family member in your in in your family, right, and this family has an I family member has an issue like alcoholism, right? No, you're speaking the then truth. Yelling at them is not going to do anything. Person. You have an intervention for this person, right? You have it from an understanding perspective. Right. If Ray is crazy, which I do think he is, based based on what I heard, the only way to go about this is to be understanding and, and understand his point of view instead of attacking him. That's the shrink's job. I'm not fucking doing that. I'm no, Leslie's off. right, guys. Listen, Leslie, Leslie is right. The reason Lazy's here is because he understands humans better than I've ever anybody I've ever met. That's why we brought him. And here's the thing, Leslie. Here's the thing. Like, yeah. Just it sounds to me like and here's the thing. I don't have the context on on how much Mickey has been fucking with Romanov. I know Mickey can be really annoying and he can really, you know, fuck with people. So I don't yeah. know. And you know, the reasonable thing if somebody fucks with you is if, if it gets to a point where you can't take it anymore, you have a very serious adult conversation and you make sure that everybody involved in the conversations understand that you're serious about it. And if, if, if that's not resolved then, then you probably distance yourself from those people. You don't execute the person. That's sociopathic tendencies. You don't do something like that. Right. Clearly, Romanov has, has no type of emotional connection. His, his, his EQ is lower, it's, it's non-existent. So but, what I think has ha happened is Romanov felt pressured by Mickey. He felt like if I don't do anything now, nobody's ever going to respect me. He then committed fully, and maybe maybe halfway through, he realized that, oh, this is fucked up. Maybe he did, right? But he still went through with it because he, he, he probably thought to himself, oh, if I don't do this now, then this is never going to happen. I, I, you know, nobody's ever going to listen to me. Nobody's going to respect me. So he went through with it. He doubled down. And now maybe he even understands that he's in the wrong, but he's not only justifying it for you, he's justifying it to himself as well. Damn. That's some deep shit, Leslie. The thing is, boys, I don't think Parsons is going to fix a fucking fractured ego. The guy literally admits he can't take a joke. And the problem is the examples I'm hearing. Yeah, but you know, we got to try, Harry. Okay. A woman's a, a saying, you know, the guy's got herpes and then what the fuck of do we do, though? Hydrant. I don't know, man, but like, we, like, I'm with you, boys. Listen, listen, listen. We, we, we lay into each other like every fucking day. Like, if Ray can't be around that, then what the fuck? Okay, so let's go speak to Mickey and see, because I agree with Leslie. I don't really know the whole entire context of how yeah. intense the situation is. Yeah. So we got to hear from Mickey. Here's the thing, right? And I'm going to say this. When you find a friend that's an alcoholic, right? Let's just use this as an example. You kick them out to the road, what does that do? They get angry, they get upset, they get torn down, and they keep drinking, right? I think, you talk to Mickey like you said, but in, see what he wants to do, and then if he's on the same page, I think Parsons wouldn't be a bad start. I think Parsons yeah, we gotta, is the we gotta try. I think it's the move. Here, guys. We, listen, we uh, can't just... I, I'm mad you just can't give up. You just can't give up. You give up. A fucking, I think Ray's a fucking knob. You know, right, Harry? You're not wrong. But you're not like, wrong, Harry. Let's, let's, uh, let's, you're not sorry, wrong. But this this guy's always flexing in my face, trying to put me down. Like acts like he's like you know his life's so fucking perfect. The guy, you, you know, the guy is so fragile. I honestly think he's a a fucking knob.
Right, uh, but if, if, I'm, if, I'm still furious to be honest. I mean, and, and you're rightfully so. But but the thing is, Harry, rightfully so. If 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 this comes from a place of of, of <laughs> narcissistic tendencies and and in a sense of mental illness, then you know you need to you need to understand it. You you can't bash it's him for something. Fractured, it's a fractured like. Uh, okay, okay, I don't think is. Let's go speak to Mickey. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We can sit here all day and shit I, I on Ray. It's not going to solve I, anything. I have one more question. So, has has Romanov been cons like? Has he? Because it feels to me like he feels like Mickey is uh, like taking his position. Like, it's almost like a dick measuring contest. You, you know, I'm, I kind of sense that a little bit too. <laughs> well, <laughs> now it, that it, you say like, that, I'm gonna. It, it, now that you say that. That actually just, seems... You know, the reason I ask that is because everybody gives Romanov shit. Literally everyone. Why is it that Mickey is the problem? Oh, and, and, my and, God. And, 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 and Holy keep, keep, fuck. Keep, keep, Holy keep, shit. He keeps bringing up, you know, like, ah, oh, I didn't trust Mickey when he was introduced. Implying that, like, oh, I was... You think I he's jealous? Or Mickey. Well, I don't know if it's jealousy, but, you know, I, I guess, yeah, in a sense. Damn, I mean, it would kind of make here. sense because Ray used to like have a lot of the plans, plan. right? And that's what I mean. If 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 if, if you were Romanov and, and right. you felt this way, but nobody understood your emotions, wouldn't you feel more accepted if people understood that you felt like you were getting pushed out? I mean, it doesn't justify what he did, clearly. Right. But... Nothing justifies what he did. Damn, that's a good fucking question, Leslie. What do we do next, Leslie? I think Let's we, talk, we to talk to Mickey. So here's the game plan. Wait, hold on. Okay, let me turn the LA New York theme song back on. Cross everybody off the list besides Ray. Okay. Crossed off, crossed off. Five circles around Ray. Okay. We go back to Mickey. We explain. Okay. We go from there, see what he wants to do. I think then, before we explain, we ask him. Yeah. How much he's fucked with Ray and was it actually bad in his own opinion? We we need to hear the context of him fucking with Ray. I agree. Right. Can I say one thing? Yeah. If Ray ever, ever points a gun at any of the family members' face and I see it, the moment I talk him down, he puts that gun away and turns around, I will blow his fucking brains out. I'm sick of hearing of this guy keep pulling guns on family members. I'm sick of it. I mean, the guy's not the way we do right. things. I don't blame you, Harry. Right. If it happens you're again, right. I'm not gonna Harry, stand there and let it happen. You're very right. You're very right. But Holy shit. you need to at Especially, least. Uh, Tony, I, you need you, to tell here's us. the thing. I we need listen. To we need to speak to the family before we do something like that. And what I mean by that is, is that we need to have. Everybody in the family understand that the, if that situation does happen, that's what's gonna happen. Okay? I think I think if, if we because then we'd be hypocrites. Well, stop him, right? Because then we'd be hypocrites. 